Hello, hi. Uh, welcome to the online uh, classroom. Today, we are going to discuss uh, uh, a topic, operating costing. Uh, yeah, we are going to discuss what is operating costing, uh, what are the steps need to be uh, followed to calculate the cost of operating uh, services. And also, we are going to try to understand what are the basic features of the operating costing. Okay. So let's understand first what is the meaning of operating costing. Operating costing is a method of ascertaining the cost of providing or operating a service within or outside the undertaking. It is known as service costing. It's also known as service costing. As per uh, ICMA London uh, defines operating costing as the uh, that form of uh, operating costing which applies where standardized services are rendered either by undertaking or by service cost center within operating. Generally, these methods are applicable to following industries like road transport, railway transport, airlines transport, hospitals, hostel, electricity supply companies, water supply companies, gas supply companies, cinema halls, canteen service providers, so we can apply uh, this uh, operating costing in the uh, those industry and we can ascertain the cost of a uh, services provided providing by the cost uh, by the uh, providers to the service uh, consumers now let's understand the basic features of the operating costing there are three important basic features of the operating costing number one service or standardized gear if you take the transportation like airway uh, roadway then uh, uh, railway and even if you take any example like a canteen cinema hall in all the cases a service is standardized gear if, uh, if you may be rich you may be poor the service provided by the service providers uh, is uh, standard there is no differentiation between rich and poor if you want to go to cinema hall, if, to watch a movie, that uh, it is uh, the service provided by the company is same. If you go to canteen, the service provided by the can, uh, can uh, by the canteen runner uh, is same to uh, our students as well for lecturers. It is same. There is no differentiation. So the service is uh, standardized in this uh, operating costing. Number two, uh, investment in the fixed asset is very high uh, compared to uh, operating capital or working capital. So, whereas working capital investment is very low, uh, huge investment will be made on the fixed cost, fixed, sorry, fixed asset. So, when you say uh, more investment on fixed uh, asset, automatically the major portion of the total cost of the operating uh, any services is fixed cost. And so the uh, the cost per unit of the service rendered is at, uh, affected by the economics and scale of operation. The cost per unit will decrease if more uh, units of services are rendered. For example, in a passenger transport company, if the bus buses run uh, full capacity, the cost per passenger will be lower than that if the buses do not run full capacity. So basically, a bus uh, sorry, transportation company, uh, if they run the buses, they should run the bus uh, with the full capacity to reduce the cost of uh, fixed cost per unit. Okay, if they do, if they run uh, 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 with less capacity, the operating cost or total cost will be very very high per passenger. So uh, next, uh, we try to know um, what are the uh, units cost unit we're going to choose to calculate the cost of the operating operation or a service so here we have two types of uh, uh, cost unit we have to select one is either you have to select a simple cost unit or composite cost unit what is a simple cost unit uh, a simple cost unit is nothing but uh, a simple cost unit when only one cost unit is used for example if you take the transportation company here you're going to try to calculate what is the cost per kilometer? If you take the canteen uh, as example, you are you're going to if you want to calculate the cost per item or per meal, then 
it will be called as a simple cost unit. If you are want to calculate the cost in the case of uh, water transportation, water supplying company, okay, if you want to calculate what is the uh, cost you are incurring to supply the uh, 1000 liters of water uh, to a customer, then you need to calculate uh, in that way. So here you are choosing uh, one single unit okay, as a basis to calculate the cost of a service. If you are if you are compositing, if you are a multi if you are using the multiple cost unit center, and uh, and, and try to calculate the cost of the um, service, in that case you have to go for composite cost unit, where you are merging two to one or two uh, unit cost unit. For example, in the case of transportation company, passenger transportation company, if you want to calculate the cost per passenger per kilometer, if you are carrying the person one person uh, in a in a car or in a bus from uh, for uh, one, one kilometer or two kilometer what is the cost per uh, passenger per kilometer so you are compositing two cost unit here one is person and another one is uh, kilometer in the case of goods transportation what is the cost you you are going to incur to uh, carry one ton of a uh, uh, goods per kilometer so you are combining two component here two unit here one is uh, per ton another one is kilometer and in the case of hostel, uh, you are going to calculate what is the cost per room per day. So you are recommending two things here, per room per day. So again, in the case of hostel, you you have to calculate, you like, you like to calculate the cost per bed per day. So you are combining two again. Uh, in the case of electricity, if you want to calculate what is the, what is the cost per uh, kilowatts per hour. So you are combining two units there so when you combine two units together and you want to calculate the cost it is called as composite cost unit later on let's move to the uh, analyzing the cost of the operate, operating services if you want to analyze the cost then you have to classify the whole total cost into two that is fixed and variable which are the those fixed cost uh, which is fixed in nature which are those costs which are variable in nature and how it uh, behaves, how it uh, varies from one unit to another unit or one level to another level, you need to understand that for that. So let's understand uh, what are the total cost are we going to incur to run the any business, any service businesses. In that case, uh, if you choose uh, um, any uh, business uh, activity like transportation, canteen, or hotel, or hostel, uh, hospital canteen uh, again uh, come to the cinema hall uh, then you need to uh, classify this fixed and variable cost in this class we're going to analyze in detail uh, how to classify the fixed cost and variables what are the components which is involved in that how it is going to uh, influences to uh, uh, calculate the cost of a uh, service per unit okay thank you for